a symbol of strength for centuries, now weakened by the elements. Built in the 1500s, Hurst Castle overlooks the Solent Sea, this ancient fortress designed to protect the naval base at Portsmouth. Today, it faces new danger, a changing climate, the full force of the wind and waves creeping ever closer to its foundations, making this historic site hard to protect. Coastal erosion is nothing new. It's a natural process, and we always expect it around the coast of England. But we're concerned that we're seeing uh, increasing uh, sea level rise and storm events, which may be connected to climate change. So we're, we're recognising that the sites we're looking after are, are increasingly exposed and vulnerable to changing environment. Last year, a section of the east wing of the castle collapsed after a storm, forcing the closure of the beachfront one emergency work is carried out to stabilise the building. Over 20 tonnes of rock were brought in to build a sea barrier in the hope of preventing more damage. The crumbled castle wall still piled up on the beach. The repair bill could amount to tens of millions of dollars. These stone blocks here were salvaged from the sea when part of the castle wall collapsed last year. This historic building, designed to defend the land, is now facing a battle of survival of its own, a standoff against slowly rising sea levels, ever strengthening storms and more ferocious waves than ever before. The power of nature is putting several other historic sites at risk too. The 13th century Tintagel Castle, linked to the legend of King Arthur, battered by winds and erosion, the surrounding cliffs crumbling and fending off the elements may eventually prove impossible. The sea, once hundreds of metres away from Hurst Castle, is now lapping at its walls. The situation so precarious, the building was placed on the World Monument Watch List, leaving experts to consider how to prevent further collapse here and at other heritage sites. I'm very confident we can act now to do our best to look after them um, for, for this generation. Um, what I'm concerned about is, is what happens in the future. Our job now is to do our best to make sure they're well maintained, that we update all their, the existing coastal defences. The narrow spit at Hearst Castle is also a line of defence for the land beyond it, protecting a small fishing harbour and salt marshes, hosting rare birds. But this entire low-lying area is now vulnerable to sea level rise and that could be as much as a metre within a hundred years, meaning Hurst Castle could one day succumb to the sea, changing the surrounding landscape forever.